So we're going to get into your reading at this time. See what spirit has for you. I send you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What's the overall energy surrounding Libras at this time, spirit? Partnerships and alliances. Okay, so you guys can have people that want to be in partnership with you here. Um, positive movement forward. Ooh. So maybe someone wants to like move things forward. Someone could also want to communicate with you here. This could be um right, it's like someone moving forward past suffering and silence. So someone definitely wants to communicate with you. Your name could be Destiny. Okay, let's see. What is the message here for Libras in regards to this overall energy? Intuition. So this is like the high priestess energy. So this could be a cancer that wants to be in a partnership or an alliance with you in some type of way. Um, maybe for some of you, maybe you're guarding yourself from this person. Maybe you know something intuitively and you're guarding yourself. Or maybe you're just like using your intuition when it comes to partnerships and alliances, who you align with here. Spiritual union in reverse. Two, two. Right. Maybe you feel like, maybe you block this person, block communication, block this person even out of your thoughts, like for some. It's like you close the door on this union. Even if it was a spiritual union, I feel like you close the door on this union this union here. Spirit, what's the message here? Positive movement forward. And then conflict and defeat. So this person could be feeling really defeated here. This could be a Leo energy. Maybe for you, it's like closing the door on this, blocking, shielding yourself, protecting your energy from this person and like moving forward. What is the message here? Stand your ground. Right, so it's like you're protecting yourself. You're, you have boundaries. You're moving forward. Triumph, right. It's like maybe this person had hella red flags or something here. It's like throat chakra. So definitely communication. Someone wants communication to change. And I'm getting a heavy cancer energy. And uh, if it's not a cancer, maybe it's just the fact that maybe you're really, really intuitive. Or they are. Maybe they didn't use their intuition. What's the standard ground? Financial and material changes, right? So it's like you're moving forward and this person is feeling left out in the cold here. Emotional withdrawal. It's like you took back your emotions. It's like you're focused on victory and success here. And they feel left out. Why does this person feel so left out? Ooh. Heart chakra. Because they're in love with you. They probably want a stable connection with you, a stable relationship. But because they're in love, okay? Now, if they were showing this or whatever caused you guys to end this spiritual union... To put boundaries up and whatever, withdraw emotionally. This person is still in love here. They going down because you ain't around. I'm hearing that in my head. So go check out that song by Mary if you're feeling called to. Right? Since you ain't around, their whole world is upside down. What would you like Libra to know about this at this time? Sacral Chakra. So maybe this person is also thinking of like the sex that you guys had here in this union. Um, the fact that you're single, maybe they're single as well. <clears throat> right? It's like this person is heartbroken over you, Libra. 293 could be significant. 39, 93, 96, 97, 75, 85, 45, 54. 78, 82, 28, 287, okay? 
2878-8782. It's like this person wants to put an end to you being single, Libra. <clears throat> What's going on with this sacred chakra? You're also protecting your sexual energy from this person. Empress energy, big fucking empress energy. So it's like maybe this person thinks of you having their baby or it's like they have some type of awareness at this time that your passion is ignited, right? It's like maybe this person was manipulative, but <clears throat> also I feel like you're a very sexy person here, Libra. It's like you just embody this sexual energy here. Maybe this person loves that about you as well. And they also love your sex. And they're really sad. This person could definitely see you moving forward. This person could watch you online. This is how they're able to see. What would you like them to know about this sacred chakra? Shadow in reverse. So maybe this is also someone that's not doing shadow work. Or in the past, maybe they weren't. That could have caused you to move forward. But it's like once you move forward... It's like this person felt, it's like their heart chakra got activated, okay? Or maybe at least just the feelings that they have for you. It's like, now that you're gone, okay? Um, and now I'm hearing that song by Monica, now you're gone, okay? But it's like, maybe this person acknowledges their red flags or it's like their red flags became very apparent to them once you left. Look, and they're in the Five of Cups. Feeling lost over you. They want to talk. Destiny. <clears throat> they want to talk to you, Destiny. Or they feel like you're their destiny. Uh, D could be significant. First, last, middle, initial, yours are there. Let's see. Obstacles and challenges is, is in reverse, right? So this person doesn't want to fight. This person also, maybe they don't want you to be in your shadow side, right? Because we all have a shadow side. So maybe there's something, it's like this person would rather that you be maybe more in your sensual, sexual energy um, and not so much in conflict. You could also drop this person because of conflict, because of others, because of this person not working on themselves, being very toxic, being very uh, nonchalant, I'm hearing. So maybe this was someone who acted like they didn't care, act very nonchalant. But mm -mm, baby, they, they want to talk to you. Hope and new, right? So this person may be praying for a new beginning, or they, they could be praying, but they may feel that there won't be a new beginning, okay? Depending on, again, what happened in your connection. This could be an Aquarius, but it's like this person is like wishing on a star, but for some reason, they could feel like there won't be a new beginning. Like, maybe you guys rather be single. Maybe you guys um have gained more by being by yourself, right? It's like, he this is a single... <clears throat> card but it's like look at all his harvest there and maybe you guys for some it's like maybe you started to receive this harvest after this relationship was over um and for some it's like if this person recognizes this that's why they feel like there won't be a new beginning they acknowledge that for some that you guys started doing way better maybe after it was over but they are still being hopeful here What is their advice that they resonated? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Shout out to you guys. What is their advice that they resonated? Rest and rejuvenation and power, both in reverse. So I feel like Spirit wants you to focus on meditating, connecting, um, praying, and maybe if you guys are feel like you're not uh, standing in your power at this time or someone could have like, mess with your throat chakra in a sense where you could feel powerless like you can't speak up i feel like spirit is saying come to me okay also uh maybe your confidence could have been affected <clears throat> maybe this is why you don't want a new beginning and that could also mean right that if you were to give this person a new beginning 
<clears throat> maybe you would like start to feel powerless or so be mindful of that because for some there's like spirits saying keep moving forward right it's like you're going towards uh an infinite uh connection with the divine um feeling powerful positive movement forward changes in your finances right getting victory for some it's like getting public recognition or whatever whatever that means for you right like if you were like doing something online maybe everything started picking up so just be mindful of that because i feel like for some it's like you'll end up giving away your power and you'll end up like really tired not getting rest Okay, it's like it's given like this person would be a big distraction. So it's like they want you to use your wisdom. Okay, this could also be a Taurus. And for real, it's like this positive movement forward is like something that they want you to continue to do. All right, so maybe this person, deception and envy is in reverse. So maybe this person is no longer feeling, uh, you know, like this person wearing this mask. But I feel like you're not waiting and maybe, right, disruption. So for some, it's like they're coming to be a disrupt disruption. And for some, it's like maybe they feel a little disrupted by it or a little like they're going a little loco that you're gone. 16 could be significant. 7 could be significant. All right, Libra. And now look, deception and envy is in the upright. So be careful because for some, it's like maybe they want to deceive you maybe they're still envious and jealous in some type of way so just be careful of that libra okay thank you guys for joining me i'll see you in the next one